Hey, this is Terry, and in this video, I wanna show you how easy it is to set up your Primer Prisma product using Chromecast built-in technology and the Google Home app. Now, a couple of things you need to do before you go through this setup. One is make sure that your tablet is set to Bluetooth on. We'll need that to communicate between the mobile device and the product before we actually get it set up in your network. Then download the Prisma application that's available only in tablet. So again, the reason why I mentioned downloading all this and using your tablet to do this. And then you download the Google Home application and then set that Google Home up app You're following the instructions that are available there into your network. It's easy to do. And once you've done that, open up the Google Home app, and what you should find on the home page is that underneath the home title, it will show any devices needing set up. And you'll see on my screen here, it says set up two devices, because we've installed a little system behind me in the, in the back rear speaker area of my listening room, just for making the filming of this a little bit easier. And if you don't see devices to be set up below that, that home title, go down to the lower part of the page to that compass icon, and you'll see the discover page, and there we'll Show you all kinds of things in the way of apps and other things that you can discover but most importantly up in the upper left field you'll see device setup and there it shows me that i have three devices found and then there's a little blue icon that says setup and then i'll hit that and then it'll ask me to choose a home just so i know where this is being set up so for example i have some devices set up in my office and so that's a different home that i want to set those systems up in and so i've got home here and then i'll press next and there'll be this little animation that will go along and it'll finally assemble itself when it has found all of the devices that are available that are existing within range of my Bluetooth enabled tablet. And so I see i35 there and I'm going to press that. It'll show a check mark. I'll press next. And it now again shows an animation that is bouncing about. And once that assembled, it will then have connected this tablet to that Prisma device, to that Primer i35. And so it has done that, and I've spoken over the sound you will want to hear, because if you can hear that sound, then you know for sure that the tablet and the system are connected together. Now, fortunately enough, if you don't hear it, it may be that you just have to try again, and there is literally a try again button at the bottom of the left corner, and so I'll press that now and try not to speak over the sound. That's the sound you want to hear. Once you hear that, you know now that we're all connected. And now we connect the i35 to the network, continuing to use the Google Home device. Now, before we do that, it'll, it'll, there's a field there to help improve i35 is what it says. And it simply sends stats and data stuff to Google to help improve the service. You don't have to opt in on that. You can hit no thanks and continue setting up. I'm gonna say yes, I'm in, just because I want to be able to contribute to the improvement of this system, which works so well now be great to have it just work a little bit better. And so then where is this device? You can locate it where it might be in your home. And this is with the idea that you may have many Chromecast devices around your home that you may wish to be able to control separately, discreetly, as well as in a multi-room, multi-zone setting. In this case, because it's a temporary system I'm setting up just for the video, I'm gonna scroll down a bit and see this create new section where it'll allow me to add custom room, which essentially means name a custom device or rename this primary i35 so that I can distinguish it from any other primary Prisma products I might have in the system. And so it'll come up with custom room name and then I will type in i35 and I'll just call this one filming. And then I'm done, I will press next. And then it will ask me to choose the Wi-Fi network I wanna to connect to. Now, if you haven't connected something using Google Home before, it will pop up and reveal what active networks there are. You'll select the right one, you'll put in your password, um, and then you'll be connected to the network. Once you've done that, any additional Google Home devices, any additional Chromecast built-in devices, any additional Prisma devices you want to connect will automatically know that's the network in this room you want to connect to. And so we'll do it automatically, which it has done here. And so I'm already connected and signed into my network. I'll hit next, and now it's connecting to Wi-Fi. And that means that it's connecting the i35 to Wi-Fi. And I heard a little click back there uh, behind me, which would indicate that it's working. And soon the little animation that's moving back and forth will collect itself. And I'll know that we're connected to the Wi-Fi. And so once it's done that, 
will move into a field how, that says linking your primer i35. And it's asking me to link it to my Google account to personalize my experience. Now, you don't have to do this either. You can press the X at the upper left to opt out of this. But because I want to use all these additional services from Google, especially the Google Home uh, mini speaker I have installed to be able to use Google Assistant for voice control, I'm going to hit continue um, in order to make sure that I have complete access to the whole Google ecosystem and all the services, options, and control and connectivity it can provide. And so it's linking now and the little graphics change and it's going to review then what I have done. So what I've done is that the devices I've set up are an i35 filming speaker. They'll add speaker to the name of everything. You can remove that in a, in a, settings, follow, uh, a settings situation if you want. It shows that the services I've already automatically installed with the previous setup with Spotify and YouTube Music. And then it shows me the Wi-Fi network to which I'm connected. So we'll hit next and it is saying that the i35 filming speaker is ready. Let's get started. That's how quickly it goes. That's how fast you can set this up. Now, if I hit continue, it'll show me that there's a tutorial that I can go through and it can show me all the different options and features that this can provide the Google Home system. But I've been through that before. Or if you just want to skip it in general, you hit skip tutorial. It says the tutorial is complete and then you'll hit finish tutorial and we're ready to go. And so just to double check, what I tend to do is I will close out the Google Home app. I will hit one of the streaming services I like and just very quickly play something that will give me this idea that I have everything connected and that I can play. And so there's a local artist I really like, Hush Forever. We'll just play a little something from his new album and we can hear it. You may be able to hear it slightly from my iPad here. And then I'll press the little thumbnail of the album, the cover art that's playing, and then it will go to my playing screen and below that will be a little speaker. All the way at the bottom, I'll press that. It'll give me the options of things I can connect to and I see here i35 filming speaker. I will press that and I will see the Chromecast moving and we have music. That's it. And the great thing is, is that anyone coming into your home, if they want to have a higher resolution experience than Bluetooth, all they have to do is connect to your network and uh, they can play on your system, which can sometimes be a little scary. So make sure only the special people hijack your system. If you want more information, um, you can go to our website. Um, obviously, there's all kinds of information from Google Home site as well to assist you, but it's so simple. I don't know that you'll really need any more help than that. Uh, other than uh, going to see how to set up your Prisma application, your Prisma product, using that Prisma app. So, any other additional information, go to primer.net.